Designing new aircraft technology relies on partnerships to foster innovation and support growth. To discuss what the future of aerospace looks like, I'm joined now by Jackie Castle and Sophie Lane from the Aerospace Technology Institute. First of all, Jackie, if I can turn to you, how is innovation really helping to drive the aerospace industry forward? Well, technology and innovation is absolutely essential to uh, reduce carbon emissions and to hit these sectors' net zero 2050 goals that they've committed to. Um, the types of technology that we're looking at are to increase the efficiencies of the aircraft again and also to look at different fuels. There are probably three areas that we're really focused on. Uh, those are those efficiencies, as I said, to use less fuel, which directly impacts the sort of reduction of emissions itself. Also to look at revolutionary propulsion system technologies, um, such as hydrogen or battery electric. And then we're also looking at advanced manufacturing techniques in order to further optimise the structural design of the aircraft. And Sophie, how is the ATI really encouraging growth? The Aerospace Technology Institute sits at a really important uh, point. So we are independent, but we work with academia, with industry and with government uh, to provide a technology strategy that helps industry to make decisions, to provide a funding programme to help to advance that technology development and also to provide wider support to the ecosystem. So we are looking at a market that is potentially worth £4.3 trillion between now and 2050. So there's an enormous opportunity for UK industry. And the way that we work in partnership with them is to look at those um, competitive areas and those areas of disruptive new technology where we believe that we can uh, drive inward investment, drive market growth and also allow us to achieve better return on investment in the future. And Jackie, in terms of new technology that's in development now, what are you most excited about? Well, we have lots of reason to be excited because the UK is a global leader in two areas which are absolutely critical to the development of uh, new aircraft that are more efficient, and that's wing design and engine manufacture. Um, so Airbus have an exciting programme that we fund called the Wing of Tomorrow, um, and that's looking at developing new, highly aerodynamic wings that are longer, leaner, uh, with a higher aspect ratio, and potentially folding wing tips. Rolls-Royce are developing their new ultra-high bypass uh, ratio engine. It's much larger and it delivers a 10% improvement on engines uh, that, that are currently in service. And there are many other technologies and some of those are related to um, new fuels such as hydrogen, which would um, mean there are no carbon dioxide emissions. And GKN are developing um, a hydrogen fuel cell technology, which with its cryogenic electrical network as well, will produce a much more efficient system. And so we're looking at those technologies to be developed and come through for the future. And you've touched on it there, but clearly sustainability, a huge focus of attention in your sector. What else are you doing to really drive towards that goal? Well, the Aerospace Technology Institute really collaborates with the entire sector and brings people together. Um, there are many small, uh, smaller companies, SMEs, that are also bringing exciting technologies to the forefront. Many of these will help with the advanced manufacturing that we want for the UK to remain competitive. And Sophie, what we all want to know is what are the aircraft of the future going to look like? So the aircraft of the future are going to look quite different. Potentially, you could be flying on an ultra-efficient aircraft that maybe is burning SAF. It's got longer wings. It has wingtips that fold up so that you can get into the stand at the airport. Um, they're going to be quieter. If you're flying on a zero carbon aircraft, in the short term, they're going to be smaller, more regional flights, but they have the potential to scale the technology and grow. And I think the most exciting thing for me is how strong the UK industry is and what a great opportunity we have to get onto the next generation of aircraft to be able to really maximise the market opportunity, which we estimate is somewhere in the region of £4.3 trillion between now and 2050. So there's a lot to go after. There's a lot of technology development. And ultimately, we think there's a great opportunity for the UK industry. Lots to look forward to. Sophie, Jackie, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you.